Hello, welcome to my say um fast video in like well not the fast video but fast video in about a month. Sorry for not posting a lot. And yeah. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Today I'm going to change how I kind of like make explain or make or explain my videos a bit. And basically, once I finish a project, I make a video on it. I tell you how I did it, what I did to do it, and what ideas I got for it. So, I'll be explaining my basketball game, which is Basketball Arena. It's obviously based off the Basketball Arena video game. Which is quite a popular game, and it's only on mobile. Except I made this one on computer. Yeah, this one. But for my Scratch project, I made it for this possible arena. I made it in Scratch. So the first thing I did, of course, was I only made one sprite, as I didn't really want to do two sprites already. I made a variable, well I did that before I did all this stuff, to set it up, and then I started making the controls. So firstly, the controls, they are pretty straightforward, and I have three costumes for each of these play sprites, which is, one is the first costume of running, and the second is the second costume of running. But costume 3 is for shooting, so once I finished my shooting mechanics and then I checked on my run controls, I was a bit perplexed that the animation also animated it to the third costume. So what I did I just put it if costume number equals three, then switch costume to one. It's really simple, actually. Obviously, you need gravity, but instead of doing it until touching a sprite or a color, I just did it until a certain position. Now for the shooting control. This was a tad bit more complicated than I thought it would be, but I just did whatever I could. Firstly, it broadcasts a message to the basketball if it's touching the basketball. Then it jumps up and throws the basketball. But that's not really what happens. It's just, yeah, the basketball going up itself. Basically, I made a direction variable which senses if you're pointing in that direction, which is 90 degrees, the cat would throw it up there, and if you're pointing in the other direction, which is negative 90 degrees, the cat would throw it over here. Okay, for the basketball, it was pretty easy. It's just, if it's touching a sprite, then it keeps on going to sp the sprite. So, it's really straightforward, and... I don't think I really need to explain a lot. But then there's even more. So once I finished with that, I thought of adding, yes, the jump system, of course, which is very straightforward. But I also wanted to add a jump system where if you press the left or right arrow key and the up arrow key, it would do something else. Like, let me show you. I'll just go to the project page. And then if I start it up, I'll just use player 1. If I press D and then press W for jump, it goes like that. I know it might look a bit bad, but like, it is actually pretty good. So, yeah, that's what I did. And then once I finished doing that, I realized, obviously, I should probably add more things that are actually related to possible 
for example, um, stealing. Yes, that is the first one I added. It only works, but if both of the players are running, including the player with the ball, and then I made pushing. Even though this is not real in basketball arena and it will count as a foul in real life basketball, I add it anyway for fun. Then once I finished, once I added finishing touches, I realized I should probably add more stuff to make it a bit funner. For example, eat, I mean, dashing. It's pretty straightforward, actually. I think you all know what dashing is. And then I made, just like the real basketball game, freezing. Where you freeze the other player. But then I added combos, which you could read, which you can read by playing this game in the description. And yeah, the other ones I added, you can freeze a ball and you can throw garbage, which is absolutely bonkers, but I added it anyways. Garbage actually reduces their score and also increases your amount of pushes. Yep, I added a bunch of variables like that. And yeah, so for a funny thing was that when I made the player 2, I had to change the controls, right? But it was actually kind of weird because I had to change the controls around and I didn't know which control belonged to which sprite. So, I think that might be it for this video. If I add more, which maybe I will for polishing, then I will add a second part. But for now, this is the first part. So don't get too hyped about a second part. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment if you have any other ideas for a new game I should make, and subscribe to my channel. Don't dislike, please, and bye.